Well, hello there. I am packing for my trip. So yeah, I'm playing around with like all these hats that I have. So I've been trying on hats all morning and now I am committed to the hat because my hair looks crazy underneath. So here we are. I'm gonna be wearing this hat in this video. So I am packing for my trip. I am going to Paris and then I'm going to Finland to see the Northern Lights and go dog sledding and visit a reindeer farm and stay in a glass igloo. I'm so excited. And then uh, we're going to Copenhagen and then we're heading home. So my husband and I will be gone for a couple of weeks. Very excited, very, very excited. We decided on this trip in December sometime. I think during Mishmas, I, I mentioned it to you guys. And we've never planned, well, first of all, we've never planned such a multi-city trip before, a multi-destination trip. And we've also never <laughs> planned uh, a, a trip like this so close to departure. So we, you know, made plans. We were like, let's go in late January. Things will have calmed down by then. And I do want to see the Northern Lights in Finland. I'm like, I think that's a good time. So anyway, this trip, it really felt like it kind of crept up on me. So I am like struggling to start packing, but here we are because we leave tomorrow. <laughs> I've got to pack. And I just checked in for my flight, which is great because I didn't know that we are allowed two check-in bags each. I was like, yes. So uh, generally I'm not a big packer. I don't, I, I pack pretty light, but because there's so many cities, I mean, Paris and Copenhagen, I think I can wear pretty similar clothing, both cities. Copenhagen's like a little bit cooler. It's fine. But Finland is a whole separate thing. You guys saw my haul all of that. So I've got like snow boots, a snow jacket, ski pants, thermals, like all the stuff. So that we're putting all into one suitcase. We're hoping my husband started packing yesterday because he's that person. I'm the other person. Normally I would probably start packing tomorrow morning before the flight, but I do really need to think this out. Yeah. We're going to try and get all of our Finland stuff into one suitcase so we can just like not open it, not even bother with it until we get to Finland. So he's like, okay, I just filled up half of it. You have the other half. I'm like, okay, great. This is his idea of half. It's like bulging, bulging out like four inches. <laughs> I'm like, um, you know, that's going to cut into my space. Like when we close it and he's got two pairs of boots here. So he's got a pair here and then a pair here. And I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit all of my Finland stuff on this side, but I'm going to try. So I think I should start there. I think I should start with the Finland stuff because I think it'll be easier for me to think about the Paris Copenhagen stuff because that's just like city clothes, which I'm acquainted with. Let's get started. This is the Ramoa hybrid check-in large luggage, just FYI. Okay, now comes the packing for Paris and Copenhagen. Okay, <laughs> this is the first edit that I have. So I've got four pairs of pants, let's start there. These light gray ones, these Glen plaid ones, these black cargo ones, and then my Loewe jeans. I've got three sweaters, one button down shirt, and then two jacket blazer situations. And then I just pulled out some t-shirts that I can wear underneath all this stuff. So I think, I think this is plenty for the time that I'm gonna be in Paris and then the time I'm gonna be in Copenhagen. I don't actually know that I need both of these pants, the gray and the Glen plaid. I feel like I would wear these for very similar occasions. So maybe I put back the Glen plaid because the plain gray is just easier. That definitely goes with all of the sweaters and even the black blazer. The gray jacket I have worn with the gray pants. 
um, but I feel like I can wear with the jeans, but it's both Loewe and it's like a little, it's a bit much. <laughs> It's a bit much with the anagram. Maybe I don't bring this gray jacket or the Glen plaid pants and maybe pull out one other thing, maybe like one other top. Okay, so I put back the Glen plaid pants. So I just have these three pairs of pants. Of course, I'll have whatever I'm wearing on the flight. So like a comfy pair of pants. And this is not including like pajamas and stuff. The Prada shirt jacket, which I think can go with any of these pants. My row blazer that I can wear over that white blouse. I've got those three sweaters, some t-shirts. Oh, and these are the shoes that I pulled out. So I've got my Kate flats, my Fendi boots, and then my Celine sneakers. Yeah, I think that works for all of the outfits. Yeah, I think I can wear the ballet flats with the row blazer, and then I can wear the boots and the sneakers pretty much with everything else. All right, so I think, I think I'm ready to pack this stuff away. I have those space saver bags, so I'm gonna put the pants in there. The t-shirts I'll probably put in one bag with like some underwear and stuff, and then I could put the sweaters in a bag because those are puffy, but I think I'm gonna leave out the row blazer and the Prada shirt jacket. I don't think I'm gonna space saver those. to take off that hat it was so hot <laughs> it was so hot i was like auditioning my hats and that one i think is the hottest so i think i will <laughs> I'll pack that one too anyway um i've got a ramoa hybrid medium size check-in bag that one out there that crazy one that's going to explode is a large so i've got a medium for my stuff i'm going to start putting that stuff in here and then you know do the underwear and the comfy clothes and all that kind of stuff Okay, so I've packed my underwear and bras and what is that? Oh, socks. <laughs> and uh, I'm sitting here. I've got, you know, some comfy clothes, like uh, clothes that I can just run downstairs again, coffee, like that kind of outfit. And then pajamas, like that sort of thing. And I'm debating, this is always the big debate. Do I want to bring workout clothes? Am I going to work out? I think there's a gym definitely at the hotel in Paris. I believe there's a gym in Copenhagen, Finland. I think definitely not. So I could work out two or three times maybe while I'm there, but I don't know. I don't know. And it's not that it's not the actual working out. <laughs> it's the packing of the stuff. It's a whole nother outfit and it's a whole nother pair of shoes. And I'm only going to bring these workout shoes if I'm going to work out. These aren't like double duty shoes. I don't like walking around in my um, workout shoes. So, oh God, I don't know. You know, there's like a small part of me that just doesn't want to come back from this trip and feel like I'm starting over at the gym. That's the worst feeling. But there's another part of me that's like, I'm going away. You know, we're going to be walking around in Paris. We're going to be walking around in Copenhagen. It's not like I'm just going to be sitting there and just stuffing my face. I mean, I'm gonna be stuffing my face, but like, it's not just gonna be about that. It's not like a beach vacation, you know, where you're just like doing a bed roll onto the beach and just like having food brought to you. <laughs> it's not that. You know what? Let's just see how much room I have left over. Let's do that. Okay, so this is the underwear space saver. These are the two bags that I packed on the bed. Let me bring over the shoes. And then I think that's pretty much it. I think in terms of a coat, I'm just going to be bringing my Everlane quilted renew liner coat. I just have to decide if I'm going to bring the longer one or the shorter one. Um, and then I figure if it's just, if it gets really cold in Copenhagen, I have my North Face coat if I need to. But I think that's it. I mean, I'm such a coat lover that of course I want to bring like all the coats, but that really takes up way too much room. All right, let me bring over my shoes. 
get them in here and then see if I have any room left over for um, these, for these shoes actually. I am kind of rethinking my Fendi boots here because they're great. They're absolutely great. They're super comfortable. They're great in most weather, you know, as long as I'm not like dunking my foot in water, it, they're totally fine. Um, but they're just, they're heavy and they're big. I'm kind of rethinking them. Let me check the weather. Okay, it looks like the whole time I'm gonna be there, it's gonna be raining. But it is gonna be in the high 30s, low 40s. That could possibly turn into snow. But it's just gonna be wet, 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 wet. Okay. So I had checked this weather a couple days ago and it looked very different. Paris is pretty much supposed to rain also. Okay, maybe I won't bring these flats because I'm not gonna wear these in the rain. They would just, I think, fall apart. So I'm definitely gonna bring the boots. I'll bring my sneakers, I think, whatever, they're fine. But I kind of need a pair of shoes that I'm gonna wear to those dinners. And the one dinner, the one fancy dinner that we have in Paris, that's actually in our hotel. So that's not a big deal. I can actually bring any shoes for those because I won't be walking outside. And then the one in Copenhagen, I mean, we'll just take like a, a taxi there or something. Isn't this funny? I feel like I don't have any like rain appropriate shoes anymore. God, I'm trying to think back to like, what the heck did I wear in New York all the time? No, I think these are fine. These are a little bit more casual, these Fendi ones. Okay, I'm stupid. I'm bringing the Kate flats because with the same thinking, if I'm not actually gonna be going outside too much with these, if these are just for like dinner shoes, then they're fine. They're fine. I don't need to wear them in the rain, but I like having just a pair of like plain black shoes just in case. So that's good. So these, these, I think I'll be wearing these on the plane. I need to pack slippers, but there are a few other things that I wanna fit in here before I make a decision on the whole workout gear thing. So I've got my scarf. I'm not gonna need this on the flight or anything. Just regular mittens, not the crazy ones that I have for Finland. And a hat. So I do have that acne one that I was just wearing. Oh, I have my new Louis Vuitton one. Maybe I'll just bring that one. The damouflage one. Yeah, maybe I'll just wear that. Okay, what else did I need to pack in here? Oh, I forgot, I have all of my like comfy clothes, my jammies and stuff. Okay, let me pack those away. And then these will probably have to get tucked in here, like so. And then I can put the comfy clothes here. Okay, I think that's good for now. I have a little bit of space over there. I'm sure I'm gonna wanna tuck some toiletries in there or something. Um, but this is gonna be one of my check-in bags. I do get another one, which is very exciting. <laughs> okay, I've gotta stop putting off the uh, toiletry packing, but this is my least, least favorite part of packing is the toiletries. I just feel like I either, like under or over, I, I never get it quite right. So a few months ago, I was sent cadence, these travel containers. And my friend Nicole, that you guys have seen on my channel, she's a fellow YouTuber at Yay or Nay Nicole, she swears by these. So they're these like little containers that are magnetized together and they're all labeled or whatever. So you can kind of stack them together really easily. Of course, you don't have to stick them together at all. But I thought I would give these a shot. I have always been really opposed to decanting stuff because I feel like you just end up wasting so much, but I think I need to. So let me give this Cadence system a shot. I very rarely pack shampoo and conditioner because I just use whatever's at the hotel. And hopefully, since we'll be at Paris first, I could just grab that and take it to Finland if I need. I'm sure Finland has shampoo and conditioner. Um, so I'm not too worried about that but all the face stuff is what I need. Okay, let me, let me just get to this. Can you guys believe it? I was just about to decant the serum that I've been using, which is the Dior Prestige uh, Le Nectar Premier. And I got about, well, I'll show you. I got about three squirts out and that was it. I think I'm empty. 
Now I'm glad I didn't just pack this whole thing thinking, <laughs> I'll just take this serum. I'm really annoyed that I've run out now right before my trip. I'm just gonna use what I squirted out on my hands here. Yay. So anyway, I just went digging around for another serum. I have a couple of options. I have the True Botanicals uh, Chibula Active Serum, which I really enjoy. It's just, it's very liquidy, and I think these, of course, are supposed to be leak-proof, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. And since I am going to, and I kind of thought of this as I was kind of rummaging around my skincare, I was like, I should really be pulling out the big guns. So I pulled out the Retrove Revitalizing Eye Concentrate. This is hardcore for really dry conditions, really dry skin. And then their Luminous Cleansing Elixir, which you guys know is probably my favorite uh, cleansing balm for the face. So I decanted some of my Mila Morsi cleansing balm. I don't really like that cleansing balm. I'm just trying to finish it up, but I think I'm going to bring this um, for Finland and pack this for Finland and also their intensive replenishing facial moisturizer. This is, I mean, intense is a good word for this. So that's going to be perfect for uh, Finland. I've got a mask that I may use on the plane or I may save it, but I'm gonna bring that as well. So I'm just left with this whole serum thing. I mean, most serums are thin. Maybe I'll put it in here and see. Okay, not so bad. I got everything into this uh, Trini London <laughs> bag. They sent this to me. This is like the perfect size. It's the exact length of my comb with like the little point at the end, which I, obviously cannot like carry onto the plane. I have to check it in. This guy, it fits that nicely. And I think I have everything. Yeah, I've got hair stuff. I've got my face stuff, lotions, my SPF. I even packed my hair mask into the one that says conditioner. I just put my hair mask in there because I like using that um, as like a styling tool if I'm gonna like slick my hair back or whatever. And now, Again, the debate always is, do I bring my own hair dryer and my own um, T3 Glide? Or no, not the Glide, the Edge. <laughs> All these names. This guy, because this really helps me um, style my hair. But I'm really just not very um, fussy <laughs> when I travel, as you guys know. Like when I went to Europe last year for, did I go for like two weeks? I think I actually went for more than two weeks and I only had a carry-on or I didn't check anything and I had a carry-on on personal. Oh, you know what? I have a T3 travel hair dryer somewhere. Oh, I forgot about that. Let me dig that out. Yes, I found it. Awesome. So I haven't even tried this yet. It's still in the box, but it's the T3 Fit. They definitely sent this to me a while ago, but oh yeah, it's much more compact than the real one. So the real one, the, the normal size one. Oh, awesome, yes. I do usually like to use this at the end, but I'm not gonna bring this. Okay, yes, all right. Oh, I can't wait to try out this T3 fit. It's so cute. And you know, this would fit in my Trini London bag, but I have too much stuff in here now. But if I didn't, it would actually fit in there, huh? Very cool and good to know. And I've got the bag that I need to keep with me. So this has contact lenses, medication, like Dramamine, <laughs> Advil, uh, Neosporin Band-Aids, saline solution, hand lotion, my Flonase, handy wipes, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna put the face mask in here because this stays with me like on the plane even so I don't have to go into like the overhead or whatever. This stays with me at my seat. And I usually have, I need to make sure, hair bands and like hair barrettes and stuff in here. I have earplugs. Oh, here are some hair clips. I don't need all of these. I'll just grab a couple. I have a little silk scrunchie, but I need definitely a couple of these in there just in case. So I'm gonna put two in this carry-on bag and then I'm gonna put a whole bunch more because you know they just disappear I'm gonna put a whole bunch more in my Trini London bag and I think I'm good I have Kleenex so I think I'm good for my little my little go bag here I had some face masks 
in there. So I'm gonna bring these just in case. What else do I need? Oh, I usually bring some like ginger candies and other stuff like in case I get motion sick, which happens often. So I have those downstairs. I'll put those in here. Bag is from Kuyana. I love their bags, but they discontinued this one. I'm so bummed, <laughs> so, so bummed because I love this. And I was thinking about getting another one, which is when I realized they actually discontinue this. But they do have some other designs and shapes that I may try, but I really love this one because it's so square. It just fits a ton. I don't know that I'm going to do that much makeup packing, but I am going to bring some. So let's go downstairs and, and pack up some makeup. All right. I've pulled out my little Orbe guy. It's... It's small, but it's one of those, it fits a lot because of its shape. I don't even wanna bring brushes or anything. I just want, <laughs> just want stuff I can put on really, really easily. So I don't even think I'm gonna bring foundation. I think I'm just going to bring concealer that I can use kind of all over. So I'll bring my Dior if I can find it. Okay, Dior concealer. I just wanna bring like a cream blush one cream blush, that is it. I'm gonna bring the Weston Atelier Petal. Brows, I should bring my Persona Swipe Up Brow Gel. Persona Swipe Up Brow Gel, I've got my Chanel Rouge Coco Balm in 936. I think 938 is in my purse, but I'm just gonna pack this. I may wanna put that in my purse, but I'll pack it here now. Uh, so I have brow gel and then I need uh, a lash curler and mascara. Got the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. Got my Surratt Lash Curler. Now, if I do bring eyeshadow, I'm gonna have to bring eyeshadow brushes, which I was trying to avoid. And I was thinking, oh, I can use like a cream shadow, but do I wanna even bother? Oh, maybe I'll bring this, the Cure Weiss Signature Glow. This will give me a highlighter and two cream shadows, which would be very pretty. Okay, I'll bring this. I'm gonna bring the Summer Fridays Blush Dreams. This is their Dream Lip Oil. And then I'm gonna bring the Farah Humidi uh, Lip Liner in Dough. I think that's it, guys. <laughs> I don't even think I need a bag this big. It's all I wanna be bothered with on this trip because I'm gonna be out and about. I'm gonna have a hat on, so I don't wanna bother with like foundation and powder. I'll just put on concealer. Yeah, just a little bit of eye stuff. Oh, do I want eyeliner? I have mascara and then that cream shadow yeah i'm gonna bring the suku one because i love this one so much and it's perfect it'll stay put has a thin thin fine tip so that's it that's it for makeup okay i think i'm ready to close up this suitcase i added my slippers um, i got some of those hot hands hand warmers for finland that was definitely not fitting in the other suitcase so i'll just stick them in here and then my makeup fit right there. Yeah, so I think that is it for this suitcase. Okay, wow, I look crazy. I also feel crazy. Okay, so we've got two check-ins packed. I get one more check-in. I have this other um, carry-on bag size that I think I'll use as a check-in because our other big luggage is way too big. It's like gigantic, it's like corpse size, so I don't wanna be lugging that around. So I think this will be good. The only thing I don't like about this particular luggage, it's great luggage, it's super sturdy, it fits a lot, um, but it's not a spinner. You have to like tilt it and wheel. Not like that's a big deal, but I do prefer the spinner luggage. Oh, I did decide I'm going to pack these because I'm gonna wear a pair of Uggs on the plane. I think that'll be easier if I need to take them on and off. It'll just be a lot faster, so. I'm gonna pack these guys. Could put my toiletries, my hair dryer. I think this could be it for this check-in, which is great because if I go shopping, I'll have room. Oh, I forgot about workout clothes. I did not decide. I mean, I have room in that other check-in, but I do wanna save room for, <laughs> for shopping. Okay. Still thinking on that, still thinking on that. All right, let me pack my carry-on, which is gonna have my handbags, some tech stuff, and then the remainder of my tech stuff, and then my go bag is gonna go in my actual personal item. I always bring my Chanel Deauville tote. It's just the perfect size and it's hot pink. So it's like I can see it from anywhere. It's a really good travel bag. I do wanna get one in black though. Just for those days, I just don't feel like neon pink, but anyway. 
that's for another day. All right, let me figure out what handbags I'm bringing. Okay, here's my Deauville tote, which let me go get my go bag. Actually, my go bag <laughs> still has stuff in it that I need for tomorrow morning. So we're gonna leave that there. I'm gonna leave this here. And then, so far, I've got my Loewe um, squeeze bag and my Celine cylindrical bag. And then I think I'm gonna bring my Celine Triumph bag as like my going out to dinner kind of bag. These are more like traipsing around town kind of bags. I think that's plenty. I think three is plenty. I'm just debating on the Celine bag. I'm like, should I just bring a clutch? Like, do I even need a bag bag to go out to dinner? I like the fact that it has a strap in case I need to, you know, I need my hands or something. So that's fine. Okay, so I'll bring the Triumph bag. That's downstairs. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start bringing stuff downstairs. Like the two bags that I packed, my carry-on, these bags, I'll pack them downstairs. My personal item, I'll leave up here because of my go bag. And then that's it. Have you guys tried these poppy sodas? They're really good. They're prebiotic sodas and they have really interesting flavors. Raspberry rose is this one. And it's good, it's not too, it's more raspberry than rose, so it's not too floral. It's really nice and it has light carbonation. I actually prefer a lot of carbonation, like when it really burns your throat. But I don't mind a light carbonation because it does make it easier to drink. Anyway, I'm just taking a little break from the packing and the bringing down of the luggage. I did um, upper body at the gym today, so my arms aren't really working. <laughs> I should have thought of that. I should have thought of that before going to the gym and, and requesting upper body. My trainer was like, upper, lower, upper, lower. I was like, let's just do upper. I don't know, I was thinking like, I don't wanna sit on the plane with sore legs, but now I'm gonna have a sore back, I don't know. It's like six of one, half dozen of the other. Well, we are coming to the end of this packing, which is my least favorite thing to do in the entire world. Is there anyone out there who likes packing? You know my friend Jen, I went to Morocco with her. She loves every aspect of traveling. She loves the packing, she loves the airport, she loves the plane ride, she loves the unpacking. I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> She's the only person I know of that likes that. I know some people who like the plane ride. I know some people who love to get to like their hotel and unpack, okay? But like to love all, all parts of travel, I have never heard, I don't like any part of it. I don't. I just wanna get into like a Star Trek machine and like just appear where I'm supposed to be with all my stuff. Anyway, is anyone out there that likes packing? Likes, likes the travel part. And I think really the only part about, we're just, we're just gonna dive in there, okay guys? So the, only, <laughs> the part that I really don't like about packing, it's not the deciding which things I need to bring. Cause that can be sometimes a little like tedious and torturous, like bring that or that or that or that. That I don't mind, that I don't mind. I decide, I make my decisions. I'm usually pretty happy with them, not a big deal. I live with them. I don't think much about them. Uh, once, once the decision has been made. I think it's the physical packing. I think it's the getting it into the suitcase and then making sure the suitcase closes and then making sure it's not overweight and then like rolling it down. I just hate it. <laughs> I hate that part. The like making sure it's all contained in this rectangle, usually. Cause I know some people don't mind just the shoving it into the suitcase. They just hate the deciding what to bring. Not me. It's the other way around for me. So I was wearing a black beanie the other day. What was that? It was in my home vlog towards the end. I had my black beanie on and I was loving it because I realized I'm like so cold all the time, but as soon as I put a hat on, I was totally fine. Duh. So anyway, I've been wearing, um, <laughs> I've been wearing that black beanie a lot around the house when I'm running errands or whatever. And I can't find, I like misplaced it. So I haven't worn it in like a couple of days. And I don't know what the heck I did with it. You guys must think I'm crazy. I'm always misplacing stuff. I still haven't found my Hourglass Voyeur waterproof gel eyeliner in Cave. It's, it's just gone. I feel like, like sometimes things roll off my vanity, oftentimes an eyeliner or a lip liner, or anything round, lipstick. And I have my trash can right underneath. And usually if something rolls off of it, it's not gonna roll into the trash can, like it's tucked under, but sometimes I have it out because sometimes I need to like just swipe things into the trash. And I feel like maybe it got thrown out by accident because there's no way 
that I haven't come across it yet. It's been months. I want to say at least two months that I haven't seen my eyeliner and it's gone. And now I can't find my hat. And I think the last time I mentioned like losing something, <laughs> you guys cracked me up. One of you was like, did you check Butter's bed? Maybe she took it. And she, she doesn't do that. But my dog before Butter's, who was a pug, I would find stuff in her bed. I found my wallet in her bed once. I was losing my mind looking for my wallet. I mean, this must have been like 10, 12 years ago. I was looking for my wallet. And I had a big one. It was like, um, but you know, the big ones where you can put the bills in like flat and it doesn't fold. I had one of those wallets. And I was like, how could I lose that wallet? I'm like, it barely fits into my bag. Like, where is this wallet? And she just had, she had one of those uh, bumper beds that was like rectangle and then it had like this inner pillow so you could like really get in there and it was like really in there underneath one of the bumpers underneath the pillow I was like first of all how did you get mommy's wallet and how did you like get it in there I was like waving it in front of her she just was giving me the blank look I was like what this dog my dog before butters I mean butters is amazing butters is so cute but Butters has like the exact opposite personality as my other dog. My other dog was just nuts, <laughs> so nuts. Speaking of Butters, I had to drop her off at, uh, at school. That's where we board her. I mean, she loves it there. So, you know, I don't feel a lot of angst, you know, leaving her there. I, I don't feel a lot of anxiety leaving her there. She loves it. She always comes back fine. But I was so sad leaving her this time. Usually I'm okay. I'm like, okay. Mommy, I'll see you soon. Have fun. And she just takes off. But I was, I was kind of teary-eyed today, dropping her off. I was very, very emotional. I don't know if it's because we're going to be gone maybe a little bit longer than usual. I've been gone for two weeks before, even close to three weeks before. But, but yeah, I was just really, I was really sad about it today. She, of course, did not care. Did not care. As soon as we get close to daycare, she starts whining. She gets really excited. She kind of like looks out the window. And as soon as I open the door to daycare, she just bolts right in. I'm like, bye baby. Zoom. She's like gone. I'm like, okay. I've been packing, mostly packing for four and a half hours. I did take, well, I'm taking this break and I did take a little break before, but this takes too long too. Why does packing take so long? Maybe because I'm so disorganized. Anyway, before I completely lose steam, let me finish up this packing. Okay, I decided to take my damouflage bag instead of my Celine cylindrical bag because I think they serve the same purpose and this is new and I want to wear it more often. Um, and this is the squeeze bag and then this is the Celine bag and then I have a pair of sunglasses, very important, especially in Finland <laughs> when we're going to be in the snow. And what else? I think that's all I got tonight. I'm just charging up my tech. I've put aside some things that I need to put in my go bag once I bring that downstairs, like my motion sickness stuff, SPF, lip balms, strips, a pen, facial mist, floss, AirPods, AirPod covers, because these don't stay in my ears, glasses for far away, glasses for reading, my damouflage beanie. Oh, I actually have packed two other beanies in that damouflage bag the black one and that gray acne one that I was wearing. I have my Beats headphones because these plug in, which you need for the plane. They give you those little ones, but they're terrible. And I think that's it for tonight. <laughs> I feel delirious. It is now almost seven o'clock. I definitely took a break, but I feel like I've been packing all day. So I am going to order some dinner because there's no cooking that's gonna go on tonight. And then tomorrow morning, I will see you for our send off. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's, it's coming up. That's happening tomorrow. All right, guys, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is very early. <laughs> it is travel day and I am finally done packing. I've got all my necessities in my personal item here. My headphones don't fit <laughs> that well, but that's okay. And here is my go bag with everything. I've stuck my Queen of Hungary mist in there. I need that for long flights. And here is my carry-on. Got my other luggage there. My husband still has his stuff upstairs, but we are ready to go. Oh, and just wanted to share with you my travel outfit. I don't know why, but this took me a while this morning to figure out. Usually I'm just, I don't know, I just throw and I'm like, okay, whatever I'm in the mood for, whatever's comfortable. But I don't know. Anyway, I finally figured it out. 
And I've got my Frank and Eileen black flannel shirt on. It's very oversized, which I love. My Jenny Kane black cashmere cocoon. And then I've got my Everlane dream pants on and my Uggs, which I like traveling with because they're easy on off. They're very cozy. They're like, they're like little slippers. So I can't believe it. I can't believe the day is here that we're leaving. Oh, this is so exciting. All right, guys, that's it for this vlog. Thanks for packing with me, helping me kind of work through my thoughts there. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, but anyway, we are off and I was just gonna say, I'll see you in the next vlog, but I guess I'll see you in Europe in the next vlog or at least on our way there. Okay, bye.